My lord. Your sky is cloudy. But Jacob's eyes are pouring. Rachel has been waiting for this baby for 11 years. She has borne the snide remarks of the women of Haran for just as many years. They have called her many things. Infertile, barren and sterile. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, High Priest. I have plans for Jacob and his family tonight. Please leave me. May God curse Jacob and his family. Jacob's infidelity will not go unpunished. He must be punished. Oh, great Ishtar! Pour the flames of your wrath on Jacob and his family. Rachel, as well as her infant, must perish this very night. Despite everything, I'm not worried about Rachel and the baby. But I fear that their death would cause the rejoicing of the heads of the temple and the idolaters. I fear the efforts I've made over the years to annihilate idolatry will be in vain. Do something. Save my wife and baby. Saving them will enlighten the people of Haran. Saving them would mean the defeat of Ishtar's temple and turn the people from polytheism. My lord, help me. Help me, lord. Help me. Where does the light come from in the middle of the night? is conscious. It started again. Rachel. Do you think it's going to rain? I think the sky is wanting to cry for Rachel. 
This is a sign of the gods' rage. The thunder of gods' rage will strike. Jacob and his family will be punished. O oh, great Ishtar, defend God's sanctity. Pour the flames of your wrath onto Jacob and his family. Rachel's baby has been born healthy. What about the curse of Ishtar and Esther's sorcery? <laughs> oh, great Ishtar, let the people of Haran see your great power and Esther's sorcery. Oh, great Ishtar. Please us, let your friends see the humiliation of Jacob's God, punish the infidel! Greetings to the Prophet of God. Greetings to the Prophet greetings of God. Prophet God's of greeting God. be upon you all. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. I thank God for his blessings. And ask him to grant you and our baby good health. We waited for you for 11 years. What took you so long? <laughs> you don't ask if it's a boy or a girl. Is Joseph the name of a boy or a girl? How did you know? Who told you it was a boy? It was the one who gave me the good tidings an hour ago. My son, the rain is a blessing brought by your birth. Welcome. Rachel and her baby are healthy. We don't care. Look at this rain. There'll be no more famine in Haran. Don't you understand? It began to rain when Jacob and Rachel's baby was born. Rachel and the baby really healthy? Yes, don't you see? What an auspicious baby. People, what 
are you waiting for? Sacrifice a sheep, a camel. Adorn Harren. For this, we must thank Jacob's God. Today marks the beginning of my daughter's new life and the end of famine in Harren. Ishtar's temple. It is on fire. Ishtar's temple. It's on the temple. Excellency, it's the temple. Ishtar's temple is on fire. What did you say? Ishtar's temple is on fire. What has happened? Come with me. Sorceress! She has died in the flames. We were unable to save her. Did she burn to death? Yes. The sorceress burned in the fire. Their stuff is burned as well. Can't we do anything for her? Can a fire burn a temple sorceress? Of course it can. She's not a goddess. She burns well. That was the mighty Ishtar goddess? She burned with the priests. They couldn't save themselves. She said Rachel and her baby would die. Angelou, she has died instead. Excellency, where are you going? I'm going to convert to Jacob's God. You claim Jacob was the cause of the misery of the people of Haran. And yet, Jacob's baby has brought us blessing and rain. Let's go! Where are you going? Stay! Stay and defend the religion of your forefathers! Where are you all going? Where are you going? But Ishtar's temple is burning! Ishtar will burn too! The high priest will burn as well! Come back! Where are you going? Stay and 
Put out the fire in the temple! Save Ishtar! Put out the fire! Stay! Put out the fire! The rain of God's blessing has seemingly purified these people's body and souls as well. The auspicious birth of your baby brought rain to Haran. Will you show us the baby? I have no choice but to admit you are a prophet. I have witnessed that your child's birth has destroyed the temple of idolaters and ended our famine. <laughs> Joseph's birth is a blessing. Joseph's birth is a blessing. But the one who's destroyed the temple of Ishtar and who has brought rain to Haran is God. The unique God. Don't you want to see him? My wife and I have seen your God. Tonight, everyone has seen both the limitless power of your God and the weakness of their own. They are now here to believe in the one God. O oh, prophet of God, illuminate their hearts with the light of faith. And you all agree with what Perez has said? Yes! Yes, yes, yes we, we do. do! Repeat after me. I denounce all stone and cold gods. I denounce all stone and cold gods. And other earthly gods. And, and other earthly gods. gods. All false idols. All false idols. I believe in the one God. I believe in the one God. The God of heavens and the earth. The God of heavens and the earth. I believe in all of his chosen prophets. I believe in all of his chosen prophets. And shall obey all their commands. And shall obey all their commands. It is now five years after the fall of God's wrath on Ishtar's ziggurat. And it is five years since the doors to God's blessing have been opened to the people of Haran. Rachel, the beloved wife of Prophet Jacob and the mother of Joseph, is awaiting another child. Joseph? Yes, mother. 
We will go to the plains with your father today. I'm very happy, Mother. Let's go. Before she had a child to Jacob, she was the favorite. But now, look at how... It seems Zilpah and I don't deserve to go out with the Prophet Jacob. What about your mother, Leah? Perhaps she's busy. Perhaps she doesn't want to go out to the plains. I don't know. Or perhaps your father doesn't love anyone but Rachel. I've decided to return to my birthplace, Canaan, soon. They're going to hurt each other. Don't worry. They're just testing their power. You see, they believe whoever is the strongest will be my heir. know Prophet Jacob, the son of Prophet Isaac? He and his son are blessings to this town. I do know him. Do you know where I can find him? His uncle is Governor Laban. Ask him. What do you want? I'm a courier from Canaan. I must see the governor. Follow me. <laughs> Dina, will you come here? Will you look after Joseph so I can help your mother? Of course. Rachel, you're pregnant?
Congratulations. Does the prophet of God know? Hello, Grandfather. Hello, Grandfather. Hello, Father. Welcome. Hello. Is something the matter? Something has happened. What is it, Father? That man there he is from Canaan. He has brought us mad news. Where is Jacob? My dear uncle, Laban. What is it? What is the matter? It is bitter news. But I know that you can bear it. Tell me, then. Your father, the prophet Isaac, he has passed away. To him we return. What is your decision, Prophet of God? After Prophet Isaac, Prophet Jacob is the prophet of Canaanites. Your sister has asked me to convey this message to you. Are you meaning to leave here? Death is a fact, and it occurs to everybody. Nobody can escape it. Even the prophets of God. I thank you all for your condolences, and I pray that God will grant me patience and submission. O oh, prophet of God, if we promise to obey your teachings, will you stay in Haran? I like the people of Haran. Leaving you will be very hard. It is not my decision. If it was my decision, I would decide to stay, but I cannot. We will set out for Canaan tomorrow on God's will. We're ready. So are we. My wife and I packed as well. Where are you going? With you to Canaan. We won't leave the prophet of God as long as we live. You cannot go with us. You must stay in Haran. My house is a good place for you and your wife. But I owe my life to you, Prophet Jacob. My husband and I have promised to serve you as long as we live. 
Your family needs you to stay in Harren. This is your homeland, and you owe me nothing at all. Please, stay here. I thank God for granting us the light of guidance. I have lived here amongst you for years. I have shared your joys and sorrows. I am sad to be leaving. You used to worship idols. The one God illuminated your hearts with the light of faith. And you threw away your idols and chose to worship the one God. Appreciate divine faith and call. Do not replace the light of faith with the darkness of ignorance. Whether Jacob lives here or not, God shall be observing your deeds and actions. May God be with you all. May God be with you, my prophet. God be with you, Jacob. Oh. 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 During all the years that you have been my shepherd, you have asked for no wage. You have no wealth at all to speak of. I wish to present to you and my daughters half of my herd, and I hope you may earn a living from it. Thank you. And may God grant you his blessing. Thank you, Father. God bless you, Father. Jacob deserves it. I must appreciate his years of hard work. Goodbye! Goodbye. Farewell! Goodbye. God be with you. Goodbye, Jacob! Goodbye! God be with you all. God be with you. Goodbye. God bless you. God be with you. God be with you all. Goodbye. Take care. God bless you all. Goodbye. Goodbye. God be with you. God be with you. God be with you. Farewell, my Jacob. Bless you. God be with you. God be with you all. God be with you all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Why do Bilha and Zilpa envy my mother, Rachel? Who told you that? Everybody says it. Judah heard it from them, and he told me. We mustn't interfere in such things. But since you asked, I'm going to tell you. Bilha was your mother's maidservant. As your mother, Rachel, couldn't conceive a child, she gave Bilha to your father so he could have a baby and would still love her. Bilha gave birth to Dan and Naftali. She is very dear to Rachel and Jacob. Naturally, after your birth, Bilha thought she'd lost her position. And this causes her envy. Was Zilpa your maidservant? Yes. I too gave my maidservant to your father. I didn't want Rachel defeating me and attracting your father's love. Zilpa gave birth to Gad and Asher. 
What are you doing there? The herd is dispersing. Bring them back. Rachel more dearly than necessary? <laughs> I don't need to envy my own sister. Neither does she have more children than I. Neither Jacob's love for her more than me. Why should I envy her? would defend her sister over us. It's a long way. We're almost there. This is how nomads live. They both travel and live. Oh! Oh! Leah! Leah! How far is it to Canaan? About three leagues. Can you bear it, Rachel? No, I won't be able. Judah, Levi, Simeon, erect the tents now. We'll bivouac here. Is there a midwife in Canaan? Yes. Come here. Go to Canaan as fast as you can. Bring my sister and a midwife. Go. Go. I'll be back shortly. Ha! Sister, help her down. Careful, be careful. Oh, careful, careful. Make a fire, Zilpa, and bring a carpet right away. Hold on, Rachel. What's the matter, brother? Are you not well? Don't worry. It's nothing. Dina, take Joseph away. No, let him stay. Uh, Leah! Oh. Hold on, sister. Come here, son. Come on. What's the matter? Joseph, you mustn't go in. I fear something will happen to Mommy. Why, son? Nothing's happened. Don't worry. It's all right. May God have mercy on her. She had difficulty last time as well. I remember. She almost died. Easy now. Don't 
tell Jacob to pray for her. <laughs> What's happened? How is Rachel doing? Nothing yet. Leah said to pray for Rachel. She is not doing well. If she can hold on a little longer, the midwife will arrive. You'd better return to her. Daddy, did Annie mean that Mommy is going to leave us? What? Nobody is saying that. She's going to bring you a baby brother. Daddy, I'm afraid. Don't be afraid, son. Dina, go and play with your brother. If this is going to be like the other birth, may God have mercy on her. I really don't think she's going to survive. Stop talking ominously, you inauspicious owl. Hold on, Rachel. You know the midwife will arrive any moment. We're close to Canaan. Yeah. <laughs> 